Hi, my name is Maura Brueger. I'm the Director of Government and Legislative Affairs for Seattle City Light. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about our strategic plan uh, that we adopted in July of 2012. We're very excited about having this plan, a roadmap for the utility to take us through the next six years. And more importantly, to have gone through a very exciting process for the utility in developing this plan. It really was a bottom-up process that included not only all the employees, but a very important group of ratepayers who sit on the City Light Review Panel and who served as our representatives of our ratepayers in this process. It was adopted by the Council um, unanimously in July of 2012 and has now become the roadmap for our future budgets and our future rate ordinances through 2018 and will guide the utility in making its strategic investments. Sean Reed, Seattle City Light, Civil Construction. Uh, the Karkik Park project essentially was a project to replace the underground electrical system for the community. Our scope of work consisted of installing seven vaults, trenching approximately 3,800 feet, and installing 8,000 feet of conduit. It was quite a challenge to us because it was a high priority project that was thrown into our lap at the last minute, and we were able to complete the project uh, safely. and. Uh, within the time constraints, so it was a good project to be part of. Hi, I'm Pete Renner with Large Project Management Group here, Alaskan Way Viaduct Project. In 2012, we relocated two sections of the U.S. Mass transmission lines from the viaduct structure and into the Union Street substation. Thank you, Don Calderon, and your Union Street substation staff for your help, and thanks Tamara Jenkins from our group here for her work on that. We also relocated six network feeders into new duck banks up by the Broad Street substation. Thank you, Robert York of Network Crew Chiefs for your help on that, and Jeff Preco from the Civil Crews. And thank you, Bob Hansen, for all your work up there. Later. And reading your meter correctly is our way of making sure that you pay for the electricity that you use. That's my job, to read your meter accurately. But it's not easy if I can't access your meter. I need at least three feet of clearance to your meter. And please, no dogs, no matter how friendly they are, so I can get my job done for you.
What we're going to do here is restore the Gorge Inn. It was the historic cookhouse for the Skagit hydroelectric facilities. I believe they fed tourists here. They also fed all the workers here. Fell into disrepair for a number of years. Has been sitting vacant. We're going in, redoing the entire interior, redoing the whole roof. We've demolished the existing kitchen. We're gonna rebuild the entire kitchen, raise the entire structure up, rebuild the entire foundation, set it back down, and from what I understand, they anticipate having it operational within, I'd have to say, two years. I'm Glenn Atwood, Director of Conservation Resources at Seattle City Light. And on behalf of the utility and the City of Seattle, I'm proud to accept the Interstate Renewable Energy Council's 2012 award for innovation for our community solar project at Jefferson Park. Let me tell you just a little bit about the project. We've partnered with nearly 500 City Light customers to help fund 24 kilowatts of installed solar panels on three picnic shelters at Jefferson Park in one of the most culturally diverse areas in the city. In addition to the shelters, on-site generation helps power a kid's spray park. And these amenities have been a great addition for the community. Hi, my name is Shanna Crutchfield and I'm Seattle State Light's Race and Social Justice Program Manager. We started a year with the Leading with Reading book discussions where many employees across the utility contributed to a powerful discussion that led to powerful learning. We also introduced to our leadership the Racial Equity Analysis Toolkit Training. We had a goal of training 75 employees who are in roles from our superintendent down to frontline managers. The intent of that education was to align the Race and Social Justice Initiative with our strategic plan. At the end of the year, we exceeded our aspirational goals for our outreach efforts for minority and women-owned businesses. 